Let's do some oil. All right. So we get EIA inventory numbers at 1030. Let me pull this over here. So it was interesting. That's what we saw a spike. I said, what just happened there? Right, that euro, man. Um, so pulling up crude. Crude trading at 61.33. We got EIA coming at 1030, about eight minutes from right now. I'm going to jump into these commodity spreads. We're going to jump into crude. Let's start it off. Let's see what we have at 11 a.m. So again, the contract's trading 61.35. What's going to happen here is um, it looks like you'd have an option in at $61 to gain exposure. You'd have an option at 61.75. Unfortunately, that's uh, right in the square yeah, middle. Right now, the middle. those are the 11 a.m. Okay. So we've been jumping around. Let's see where the noons got staggered. A little bit different. So 61.25 is going to give us a price point, which your bullish spread. Now these expire at noon. A buck fifty on either side. 61.25 up to 62.75. You're going to have 11, 12, 13 cents of intrinsic value, right? You have 13 pennies above the floor of that spread. So we're, we're going to pay 13 bucks immediately just for the value. You're paying another 16, 17, give or take, uh, for the premium. So 29 bucks on the bullish side. And um, bearish one, it's going to be the same amount of premium, pretty yep. much just minus the intrinsic value. So you're looking at 46, 46. yeah, until noon. Big. So you, yeah. you know, you just uh, easy mentally. You need about 50 cents, give or take, from right. your price point to, to your break even. Now, if you're a little bit bullish, that's a little bit easier because you're already trading um, ahead of that. Let's just see where the dailies line up. $61, you could have exposure. Again, we're on the bullish side, and. Uh, the bigger daily 61. So just keeping in mind, putting out you know trade possibilities, man. So you got the contract trading at 61.34. If you really were bullish, you wanted to place a trade before this number comes out. Something that might be attractive is, you know, the price is trading at 61.35. Bless you. You Thank lock you. in exposure to 66. You lock in defined risk to 61, and for that privilege, you're paying about 16 pennies. Um, above the market price. Okay. Right? So it's costing yeah. you $52, which is the 52 cents above 61. But of that $52, you have $36 that's value, you know, that you can right. sell it at. Not a bad trade when you got the inventory numbers coming out. You'd have exposure until 2.30. You want to be bullish for the day. Um, not a bad trade. Yeah. Yeah. So the, we had some big numbers last night. Uh, for the API. Yeah, I believe it was uh, CLM. I think we're somewhere on eight million barrel build. Okay. And and you can see, let's see, is that where it came out? Is that four o'clock? Yeah. Yep, right there. So you had a little sixty-one seventy-five, four to sixty-one thirty-three. Nothing heavy, but yeah. You know. Yeah, thirty forty cents, right? The thing that's intriguing here is that with can you go into the CN before or go to yeah, the chart, but just before you get away from it, which is uh, you know with all the action over in the Mid East, yes. it's surprising that oil can't get catch a bid. Yeah, you know? it's uh, it's interesting how you have multiple factors, multiple variables in terms. Of you have the turmoil going on in the Middle East, right? You had possible drone attacks on infrastructure, right. right? You had possible ships getting attacked, right? but then you have the economy pulling back so hard that you have oil pulling back with it. So it's right. like one of them's pushing it up, supply concerns, the other one's pulling it back, demand concerns. Right. Um, so let's see what they're watching for here as we got about five minutes or less to, to look for. So oil stocks at Cushing, Oklahoma, are an increasingly important area to watch. The prompt WTI spread has been in a stubborn contango, even as global markets tighten. Let's see, in fact, second to third month okay. spread. We um, and third to fourth month spread are also now in a contango. The market is trading like there's going to be a lot of supply coming online very shortly. So a contango, of, folks, is that the, it's costing you less in the future to buy oil than it is right now. So what happens is that even oil companies, you, all of us can buy it right now. Sure. At a cheaper price. Sure. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah. That's uh, normally saying that the supply is going to be bigger. Yeah, and prices right. will be going down in the future, right. which is why right. those future months are cheaper. Uh, Pad 1 gas inventories appear to be rising again, but they're still sitting well below the five-year average. In addition, inventories are fairly tight for this time of year, despite the Memorial Day kickoff to driving season around the corner. It's around the corner, too. Man, it sure is. Bulls may have something to rejoice over in coming weeks. Uh, refinery utilization, we keep seeing this one come up in the Gulf Coast, may see some declines for the week ending May 10th. Storms in Texas shut down a few of the Pad 3's largest refineries early Friday, an eerie reminder of Hurricane Harvey. For the week prior, Gulf processors used 92.1% of capacity. 
That's a, still a big capacity. It is, it is. And that's, I think they're saying you might see that one dropping too. Okay. Um, all right, so we're going to break. We're going to come back, and we'll see where we end up in oil. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 31, NASDAQ up 30, S&P's down 2.5. Come right back.